Greetings. My name is Isa Bokarsi. I am here once again to bring you the updates that uh, keep reeling um, these days pertaining to the current situation that is prevailing in the Gambia. Well, first point is that Yankuba Baji, head of the NIA, under the outgoing president, Yaya Jame, took a flight, specifically SM Brussels, and then went to Bamako Mali. His mission there is twofold to meet a marabou, as we call him, or a spiritual doctor. And then it is meant for him to collect some charms and talisman that he will bring back for the use of Yahya Jammeh and his henchmen. Alongside, Yankuba is also expected to bring home with him some poison. The second point is that Yaya Jame has already ordered poison in the form of powder and liquid and injection from one Eastern European country and uh, from a country in the Middle East. And then point three is that insiders in State House has sent signals that Yahya Jame during the past hour was contemplating on going to move and then arrest the coalition, which is of course something he is determined to do. It is a question of when but not if. And as soon as he arrests them, he is not going to kill them physically. But let them also be warned that the cell that they will be put in, that powder will be applied and they will sniff. Why is he intending to do that? Because the international community will face him and ask to produce those coalition members. There is the likelihood that he will release them for the first round and then wait if there will be any intervention from outside. The second stage, if anybody wants to believe me, believe me. If you don't want to believe me, it is your choice. And I'm talking directly to the members of the coalition here. The second round, if he confirms that there is intervention, he will take the coalition members and then shoot them all and then wait to die. Like I said, let me emphasize that part. If any one of you wants to believe me, believe me. If you don't want to believe me, it is your choice. But I think I've never said something that people have not seen or heard yet. On the other hand also, Yaya Jame, his intention tonight is definitely not going to be pleasant. But because I don't want to be part of any fear-mongering, my advice to members of the coalition is this. Again, I will reiterate this point. If you want to believe me, it's your choice. If you don't want to believe me, it's your choice. Well, my advice is move and scatter. Go to seek sanctuary at embassies. Or you make a choice because it is not for me to teach anybody how to protect yourself. Particularly if that individual believes that these are just speculations. I don't speculate. <laughs> and I've been proven, my releases have been proven beyond all reasonable doubt. And then to President Alec Adam Abad, what I'm telling you, Your Excellency, my dear brother, try your best to take a move and then secure yourself and your immediate family. If need be, the coalition should find a bureau in Dakar and then expose the organigram 
which will show that this is a structure of a government. Because not showing the public and the international community a structure which is a government is definitely not to your advantage. And then, before I close, reports that have access to internal matters have indicated that there are conflicting approaches as far as writing a letter to the Senegalese president to intervene militarily is concerned. To any party in the coalition who is taking that stand, let me make it quite clear to that person or that party or those people that in the event that you do not listen to such advices and the last day for inauguration arrives, Adam faces something that will definitely be what he did not expect. Blame yourselves within, don't export the blame to anybody outside. By now, people should have seen a, an organigram, which is a government, to show the population that even if you are outside, you are still determined to form a government. That is what I have for you. Thank you very much.